Hello and welcome to our economics video. Today we will be talking about the determinants of plan consumption and plan saving. I am Justina and with me is Hala who will explain the Keynes theory of income. Thank you Justina. The simplification of Keynesian income determination model is that businesses pay no indirect tax and distribute all profits to shareholders. There is no deprecation. It is a closed economy and real disposable income, RDI, equals GDP minus net taxes. Our next point is the consumption function, which is the C part of the equation AD equals C plus I plus G plus X. Hollow, would you like to elaborate on that? Yes, thank you, Justina. The consumption function is the relationship between planned consumption expenditures and DPI. As DPI increases, so does planned consumption, but by a smaller amount. Planned saving also increases with DPI. Before we show our graph, there are two terms you must know, dis-saving and autonomous consumption. Dis-saving is a negative saving. If spending is greater than income, dis-saving is taking place. Autonomous consumption is automatic consumption whether there is or is not an income. On the graph, point A is autonomous consumption. Point B is dis savings. Point C is equilibrium. Point D is savings. And point E represents the 45 degree reference line, while point F represents consumption function. Guys, didn't you have so much fun learning about economics? Yes, yeah. I did. I love Mr. Poppy. He's such a great teacher. This is the best video ever. Ever. We should get an A. I know. <laughs> hey guys, I'm ready to jazzercise. Jazz, jazz, jazz. Who does that? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> dance, 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 dance,